here in Accra, Ghana. I just got up from a nap, so tired. It was a long journey, nine hours and 50 minutes, I believe, or practically 10 hours. You guys, we are home. We have made it, we have landed. I know I look a hot mess. <laughs> what else is it? Oh, um, it's working. Just connect, um, just got, I just want natural lighting, it's okay. <sighs> Good morning, guys, so, um, I had a great night's sleep. Um, there's a couple of mosquitoes in here, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm taking my malaria medication every single day after I eat or during eating. But there's like a graduation going on next door or maybe a couple houses around here. I think it's this one. There's like a tent. It sounds like a daycare or or like a nursery or something and they're having a graduation for the kids. It sounds so cute and adorable. And I wish I could see it, but there's like big walls. If you guys can see, show you. You can see that tent over there. Yeah, there's like a white tent. <laughs> they were singing nursery rhymes and stuff and then some other things but anyway our stay is pretty good i'm supposed to be going to the seamstress today i'm gonna go with my brother so i'm excited to at least go out a little bit and see more of ghana Well, you guys, I actually got a chance to make bread on this trip with some friends I made. The location of the bakery is in Treblo, and it's called Martin's Bakery. It's family owned, and the bread is so yummy. So, if you ever find yourself in that area, definitely, definitely check it out. And I'm so glad I got to help.
vlogging the way that I should on this trip only because there's a lot been going on um, <laughs> a couple of frustrations here and there but it looks like things might I don't even know I can't even say for now but things might fall into place soon enough um, I'm not feeling that great but that's due to girl stuff which always seems to happen when I travel so I might as well get used to it I'm about to go out with my aunt right now I'm gonna go eat I just took out my braids I don't know if I, I should keep my hair out because it's kind of hot and I don't know I'm already sweating and I took a shower so I don't know but I'll keep you guys posted So this is my aunt, Auntie Maku. She's so sweet. About their bullfruit, bullfruit, about their two bed, two bed. On New Year's, about their pound, pound, on New Year's. Hey guys, good afternoon. So I am currently waiting to get my hair done. I'm waiting for my dad and my aunt. Um, the way direction or the way finding a home works here is you, you just have to do exactly that. Is literally look for it and find it. Um, there's really no address <laughs> that you can use to find where someone lives or where a store is. You kind of have to know a landmark or ask people for directions and that can be really frustrating but it's doable um, at this point I feel like if I needed to go somewhere by myself I couldn't do it because I I absolutely have no sense of direction over here um, the last time I was here was like 11 years ago so I definitely that breeze feels so good I don't have any sense of you know direction so that can be frustrating if I knew where I was and like how to get around trust and believe I probably would have left the house by now and looked for this hair salon on my own I don't even have a tripod like this is so annoying because my arms are hurting but um anyway so hopefully we'll be going out soon I'm just really busy this week because of the wedding and um just have some things to get done and once all of that is done once the wedding is over um, hopefully we'll be able to hang out with friends and go to some other places do some sightseeing um, eat some street food and capture those those events it's before the wedding I've been so busy but I'm heading out now the bride landed and I'm gonna meet up with some friends at the same strip after this wedding I promise I will have better footage of Ghana. So gonna head out right now and get ready. Let me show you my wife is doing laundry. Oh my god. I'll show him first. Thank you. I'll show him the first. Okay, yeah. Do I have filming? She's doing laundry. Yeah. But I, you want me to, I don't want to take your hair because, but well, you don't mind, right? No, if your my hair. hair. <laughs> African hair, yeah. In here, African hair, so what? Mbo <laughs> wig. <laughs> That's me. My natural me. Okay? And I'm washing my husband's t shirts. And when I finish, I have a drying line there. I'm going to dry it on the drying line. Mm hmm. After it dries, 
And I'll take it off the line, mm -hmm. fold them nicely. Look at this, these squads in America, we have a whole laundry set back home, our machines and everything. We have the, but we have the washing machine, but I just don't want to use it. Rona. Yeah. Well, it's your Ghana, Ghana. Oh, I mean, I mean for you, the, the natural way, I'm not using no machine. <laughs> So mm -hmm. that's it, and that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You put the place you want to wash like this, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. That's the neckline. Now you I go to the armpits. These are the two armpits to join them together. Mm -hmm. So like this, mm -hmm. like this, and then you. You do it like this, put it in the water, mm -hmm. put it in the water. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs>